To pair an OMV601 motion viewer to a videofied panel, first loosen the single screw at the base of the device. Remove the device from the housing, and insert the four LS14500 3.6 volt lithium batteries into the battery compartment. At the keypad, change the installer access level to level four. Navigate to the configuration menu, then to areas and devices. Select Devices, and select Add a New Device. With the display showing Press Program button of device, use a paper clip to press the programming button on the front of the motion viewer. The LED will flash rapidly, then give two slow blinks. The keypad display will show that the device has been recorded. Press the OK button to move to the radio range test. Allow the reading to climb to 9 slash 9. Press OK to stop the test. Press Escape No to skip the test. Choose the area and press OK. Give the device a name and press OK. Now, reassemble the device and tighten the screw. On the keypad, press OK to run the functional test. Wave your hand in front of the device. The LED will illuminate when there is a detection. Press OK to end the test. Press OK to acknowledge completion. Hold the Escape No button to return to the main menu. To mount the motion viewer, first attach the mounting base to the surface you'd like to install the device. It's recommended to use four screws. Next, screw the extension onto the base and adjust the mounting screw to point in the direction you'd like the device to point. Then, thread the motion viewer onto the mounting screw Finally, adjust the motion viewer for proper alignment. After the device is mounted, a walk test must be performed to ensure that the device is aimed properly. This ensures proper detection and will lower false triggering of the device. To walk test the device, place the system in functional test mode. At the keypad, navigate to the Maintenance menu, then to Functional Test Devices. Walk in front of the motion viewer and verify that the red LED behind the Fresnel lens illuminates where detection is needed and doesn't illuminate in areas where detection is unwanted. Press OK to end the test, Press and hold the Escape No key to return to the main menu. To adjust the sensitivity of the motion viewer, you must add a parameter to the end of the name of the motion viewer. There are multiple sensitivity levels for each device. Refer to the Quick Start Guide or the Programming Manual for more information. To adjust the name of the device, navigate to the Configuration menu, then to Areas and Devices. Select Devices then Device Configuration. Use the arrow keys to locate the motion viewer. Press the OK button on the motion viewer you'd like to adjust. Use the arrow key to select Changing Name Motion Viewer. Press the OK button. Type the name of the device. 
then the dollar sign, then the sensitivity level needed. The OMV601 has a factory installed standard 90 degree Fresnel lens. Included in the box, you'll find a plastic bag with three additional lenses. A beam lens, a horizontal curtain lens, a vertical curtain lens, and finally a masking kit to use with the standard lens. To replace the Fresnel lens, first loosen the screw on the front of the OMV. Remove the detector from the housing. Turn it around to view the battery compartment side of the device. Loosen the four screws as indicated. Do not remove the screws, but rather push them back into the product to push the lens trim ring away from the main assembly. Once the lens trim ring has separated from the seal, Remove it from the front of the device and remove the Fresnel lens. Take note of the notch in the lens. This notch should always be in the lower right corner when viewing the device from the front. The vertical curtain lens has vertically oriented detection facets. This lens is useful for applications that require a narrow area of detection such as a commercial building or residential perimeter or a fence line. This lens must be used with the included masking lens to block the upper half of detection. The masking lens must be placed behind the Fresnel lens. This device must be set to sensitivity mode dollar sign one for best performance. The horizontal curtain lens has horizontally oriented detection facets. This lens requires no additional masking lens, but must be set to sensitivity mode dollar sign eight for best performance. The beam lens can be identified by what looks like a target in the center of the lens. This lens requires no special masking kit but must have sensitivity settings set to dollar sign two for best performance. The included masking kit is designed for use with the standard 90 degree lens. A diagram of the detection facets and their detection zones can be found in the quick start guide included in the box with the OMV601. To use the masking kit, remove the sections where detection is desired. Leave the plastic in areas where detection is not desired. Place the masking lens behind the standard 90 degree lens and reassemble. The masking kit requires no special sensitivity setting. Reassembly is opposite of assembly. Tighten the four screws on the back of the device Insert the motion viewer back into the housing and tighten the screw.